Mickey James says she'll defend the Impact Knockouts world title at WrestleMania. Paul Heyman gives his honest opinion on CM Punk's return to pro wrestling. And DDP says a former champion should show some respect to pro wrestling. What's up everyone, I'm Jose G and there's a lot to talk about in today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. Never miss brand new content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Mickey James says she'll defend the Impact Knockouts title at WrestleMania. Current Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion Mickey James has promised to defend the title at WrestleMania 38. On a recent episode of Impact Wrestling, James addressed her involvement in the upcoming Women's Royal Rumble match. In an impassioned promo, James talked about taking another brand's world title onto WWE territory. She also stated that should she be victorious in the Royal Rumble, she'll proudly defend the Impact Knockouts Championship at WWE's grandest stage. She mentioned that her championship does not belong to them. She insisted that a title versus title situation will follow a Rumble win for the women's icon. She would then be interrupted and challenged by former WWE superstar Chelsea Green and current Knockouts Championship number one contender Tasha Steeles. James is the only person to enter the Royal Rumble as world champion for a different company and will make, as she calls it, her story on January 29th. Mickey James has had a long and storied career in the world of professional wrestling and has notched up world title reigns in two of the United States' biggest promotions. James has held the WWE Women's Championship on five separate occasions. She won her first at WrestleMania 22 in an underrated contest with fellow women's wrestling pioneer Trish Stratus. WWE's Dominic Mysterio names AEW stars he wants to face. Raw superstar Dominic Mysterio has opened up about possibly facing a few AEW stars in the future, which includes names such as CM Punk and Andrade. Dominic, the son of the legendary Rey Mysterio, debuted inside the ring at SummerSlam in 2020 where he faced Seth Rollins. He has teamed with his father during his current run, winning SmackDown tag team titles back at WrestleMania Backlash. In his recent appearance on My Mom's Basement, Dominic Mysterio named AEW and WWE stars he'd like to face in the future. Hook, Andrade, CM Punk, and Sting are four stars he wants to face in singles matches while he wants to team up with his father to take on Penta and Phoenix. Dominic is also interested in going one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins once again, while he also wants to face top stars like Roman Reigns and Randy Orton, as well as other stars like Riddle and Damian Priest in WWE. The young superstar will be one of the 30 men fighting in the men's Royal Rumble match, with the winner getting a world title opportunity at WrestleMania. This will be Dominic's first appearance in the Royal Rumble match, while his father will be competing in his 12th Royal Rumble match. Paul Heyman gives his honest opinion on AEW star CM Punk returning to pro wrestling. Paul Heyman has shared his opinion on CM Punk's big return to pro wrestling last year. Punk made his AEW debut on Rampage, the first dance, on August 20th, 2021. He has seemingly been having all the time of his life in All Elite Wrestling ever since. CM Punk's former manager Paul Heyman recently sat down for an interview with the Masked Man Show podcast and opened up on his highly anticipated return to pro wrestling. Heyman believes it will be a while before fans find out if Punk's return was a hit or a flop. CM Punk aligned with Heyman in midst of his legendary 434-day WWE title run. The association came to an end in 2013 when the latter turned on the straight-edge superstar. This led to a match between Punk and Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam of 2013, which the former lost due to interference from Heyman. CM Punk then feuded with Paul Heyman over the next few months. He left Vince McMahon's promotion on the road to WrestleMania 30 in 2014. Heyman remained a mainstay on WWE TV and was recently reunited with his former client, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar set to wrestle on a major show before WrestleMania 38. After a set of sporadic appearances in late of 2021, Brock Lesnar seems to be more than a part-timer on the road to WrestleMania. There are several rumors suggesting that Lesnar will headline WrestleMania 38, possibly against Roman Reigns. 
But ahead of all of that, a new report has revealed when he will appear on the road to WrestleMania, with some interesting dates in particular. Brock Lesnar is the WWE Champion and is set to defend the title in a dream match against Bobby Lashley this Saturday at the Royal Rumble. He will be expected to retain the title with Reigns' universal title reign potentially in bigger jeopardy as he faces Seth Rollins. PW Mania reported that Lesnar is advertised for the post-Royal Rumble episode of Monday Night Raw. He will then appear on the February 14th episode from Indianapolis, which also happens to be the go-home show for the Elimination Chamber. He is advertised for the Elimination Chamber show, meaning that he will defend the WWE title if he's still champion. Despite not appearing every week, it appears as though the road to WrestleMania will be a busy one for the Beast Incarnate. WWE fans will be happy as Lesnar's recent character change has been his most enjoyable one in years. It should be noted that the February 21st is the last advertised date for Lesnar on Raw. While the card is always subject to change, the picture gets clearer as he is advertised for episodes of SmackDown before WrestleMania 38. It will be interesting to see how it plays out, but given how Lesnar has brushed the almighty off, he could walk out of the Royal Rumble with the WWE title intact. This means that Brock Lesnar could bring the WWE title over to SmackDown and the two world titles may even change brands. DDP says a former champion should show respect to pro wrestling. Diamond Dallas Page was not pleased with Ronda Rousey's comments about pro wrestling. He feels the former UFC star should show some more respect towards pro wrestling if she returns to WWE. After exiting WWE in 2019, Rousey hit out at fans and the pro wrestling business calling it fake, which led to several current and former stars responding to her comments. On the latest edition of Sports Kita's The Bro Show, Paige criticized Rousey's comments following rumors that she may return to WWE at the Royal Rumble. Here's what DDP had to say about Ronda Rousey's comments in this exclusive clip of The Bro Show. Ronda Rousey to return to the Royal Rumble, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com reported, and Becky Lynch even responded. Now, there were some rumors of last year possibly being Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch. Rousey wanted to, you know, uh, just extend the family and things like that. She's been gone for a few years, uh, actually. But looks like she's got that pro wrestling itch once again and she wants to get back in the ring. DDP, does Ronda Rousey win the whole thing? Do we see Rousey versus Lynch? And my third question, Paige, is where does this leave Bianca Belair, my man? Well, for starters, Ronda's talked a lot of shit about wrestling. She talked a lot of smack. Do you remember? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's that wasn't cool, Rhonda. You know that that was not cool. And you know, you know Brock, who was the baddest man on the planet at one point in that you know cage, he never talked so smack about what we do because what we do is harder than what they do physically on the body. You know, that's why a lot of the guys want to jump over. You know because yeah. you know. It, you know what? What they do? They they beat the hell out of their bodies and the shit. The stuff's real. It's real, mm -hmm. you know. But we go back and forth from Dan Severin on down, UFC Hall of Famer. You know, respect. You know, uh, Josh Barnett, respect. Mm -hmm. You know, so you gotta yeah. gotta have some respect there for what we do if you're gonna come back and forth and make the money. That's the way I just personally feel because I'm a fan too, you know? And a girl like Becky Lynch, like she proved she could draw. She probably was like the biggest drawing person at one time. Now, do I think they're money? Hell yeah. Do I think Vince will do it? Hell yeah. You know, because <laughs> yeah. it's money. And right now they're good with money, with all the money they're making off the go. I, I know, no, we ain't seen any of it. You know, the all the guys that uh, I'll put it there, you know, but I'm happy for the guys who are making the money and not having to work as hard as the other guys did. Um, sure, sure. But, you know, when it comes down to money, Vince is always going to go with the money, and Ronda, no matter what, is money. It just should have been a little bit more respect on the outlay 
coming in. I thought Ronda did a hell of a job at that WrestleMania. I thought she kicked that, you know, I thought she kicked ass when she came in and the run that she got for as inexperienced as she was, you know? So uh, I got a lot of respect for her, but that just, that, that kind of, you know, like, mm, got to respect what we do because yeah. nobody's harder on the body than us. You can watch full episodes of The Bro Show featuring Diamond Dallas Page exclusively on our Instagram. Thanks for watching today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. For exclusive content that you never want to miss, you got to subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that notification bell so you never miss whenever we drop brand new content. Follow us on all social media and download the Sports Keto app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.